Holy moly, everybody, this is Mr. Folly, and welcome to podcast 7.2. We're going to convert two moles from moles and through moles. So we're going to learn to always go through moles, always go through moles, always go through moles. We're going to learn grams, which is go to the periodic table, equals one mole. We're going to learn about liters, which 22.4 liters equals one mole. And we're going to learn about particles, where 6.02 E23 particles, which is atoms, oops, ions, molecules, or formula units, um, are in a mole. So factor label, remember, um, this is the times dividing bar. I hate your unit on the bottom, put another unit on top. 12.5 grams of CO2 and 2 liters of STP. 12.5 grams of CO2. That's my given. I'm always going to start with that. Times dividing bar. I hate you, grams, whatever unit I'm given. I hate that unit of grams. And I'm going to go into moles. One mole, and little g stands for go to the periodic table. So I add this up. 12.01, two sixteens is 32.00, and that's 44.01 moles of CO2. Or sorry, grams of CO2 in one mole. Trying to go into liters. Now, I want to point out right here, this guy right here is an equivalency. They set up an equivalency and a cancel, okay? So I need an equivalency for moles and liters. So my equivalency for moles and liters on the previous slide, remember, 22.4 liters equals one mole. And liters is what I'm looking for. So then I bust out my calculator and do a little 12.5 divided by 44.01 times 22.4 equals, and I get 6.36 liters of CO2. Yes, you need to include the CO2. Yes, you need to include the units. Yes, you need to do it this way. Convert 19.9 liters of oxygen to grams. So 19.9 liters. Here's the tricky part. <gasps> Oxygen's O2, not O. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Hey, two liters of O2. Go through moles. I always go through moles. I always go through moles. I always go through moles. You're going to have to memorize. Remember I put right here? I put in here because you're going to have to memorize it. Oh, you're going to have to memorize it. 22.4 liters equals one mole. That was last podcast, too. So, one mole. And I'm going to change that into grams. So, moles of O2, grams of O2. Little g stands for grams, and little g stands for go to the periodic table. And for us, one is going to go with moles all the time. 32.00. And then ask your calculator. 19.9 divided by 22.4 times 32 is... 28.43. Oh, too many sig figs. If I'm given three sig figs, my answer has three sig figs, and that would be grams of oxygen. Convert the following. 9.55E21 formula units of magnesium acetate into grams. Oh, magnesium acetate. Magnesium is plus two. Acetate is C2H3O2 negative one. So that means when I do 9.55E 21 formula units of MgC2H3O2 taken twice and grams. I hate you formula units. Um, Mg blah blah blah. And I'm going to go into moles of Mg acetate. One goes with moles and formula units 6.02 E23. Refresher question. Why, oh why, oh why, is the formula unit number so big? This number is so big because formula units are so small. One mole of magnesium, blah, 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 into grams of this case, I am going to write it down, C2H3O2, taken twice to make sure I get my molar mass. So magnesium, I'm going to go to the periodic table, is 24.31. Carbon is... 4, 2 times 2 is 4, times 12.01 is 48.04. Hydrogen, 2 times 3 is 6, times 1.01, 6.06. And oxygen is 4 times 16 equals 64.00. I'm going to add all those together for my go to the periodic table number, 24.31 plus 48.04 plus 6.06 .06 plus 64 is 142.41 equals. 
Again, I have three sig figs in my given, so I'm going to give three sig figs in my answer. 9.55E21, remember E is the second button, and then the comma button. Okay. 9.55E21 divided by 6.02E23 times 142.41 equals uh, 2.26 grams. Now, why is this big number turn out to be such a small number of magnesium acetate grams? Well, remember, this number is so big because formula units are so small. 3.55 liters of chlorine gas in molecules. So I'm going to erase this. 3.55 liters of chlorine gas. Chlorine. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Always go through moles, always go through moles, always go through moles. So again, chlorine is diatomic, so I put a 2 here. There's 22.4 liters in one mole. Diatomic? Yeah, if you look at your periodic table again, you've got the Knopf, Coolbry, H, which are your diatomic guys, okay? And they're always going to be two stuck together when they're in there. So I'm going to go through moles because I always go through moles. It's my big divider. These are equivalencies and cancel the units. Flip them to cancel your units. So I'm going to put moles of chlorine. And what's equivalent to moles of chlorine in molecules? 6.02 E23 molecules of chlorine is equivalent to one mole. Notice I put moles on the bottom to cancel my units. And then I go to the periodic table. 3.55 divided by 22.4 times 6.02 E23 equals 9.54 E22 molecules of chlorine. Dink. Tricky questions. How many atoms of hydrogen are in 13.7 grams of water? Now, the reason why this is tricky is hydrogen is diatomic. So I know there's 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules, but that means there's two atoms in one molecule. So let me show you how that's going to work out. 13.7 grams of H2O. And then I'm going to make an equivalency of grams and moles. And then one mole is go to the periodic table. That one's easy enough to add up. It's 18.02. And that gets rid of my grams of water. Moles of water. And I want to go into atoms of hydrogen, but I'm not going to go right into that. I'm going to first go into molecules of water. One mole is 6.02 E23. Now, I know water is a molecule and not atoms. So I'm going to put molecules and put atoms of H. So my molecules of H2O, one molecule of H2O would have two atoms of H in it. So 13.7 divided by 18.02 times 6.02 E23 times 2 is 9.15 E23 atoms of H. How many ammonium ions are in 2.59 liters of ammonium nitride? So first and foremost, ammonium nitride is NH4 taken 3 times N. Remember, N is negative 3, and NH4 is plus 1. So now we're talking about ions. 2.59 um, liters of NH4, 3N. H2 liters of NH4 taken three times, N. And I'm going to go to moles of NH4, taken three times, N. One mole, 22.4 liters, times dividing bar. Again with the moles, NH4, taken three times, N. And we're going to go into ions. Now I can't go right into ions because that's not an ion. That is a formula unit of NH4, 3 and it's a formula unit because it has um, what does it have um, it starts with an ion so it's an ionic compound 6.02 e23 and then one formula unit of NH4 3n will have three NH4 positive ions in it and let's check the math 2.59 divided by 22.4 times 6.02 E23 times 3 is, I'm going to write it up here, 2.09 E23.
E23 ions. And that's it. Simpler questions. Now I like to do the hard ones first, and these are actually shorter, so it might freak you out a little bit. 3.59 moles of ammonia has what volume? Now I hope you know NH3 is ammonia, and NH4 positive is ammonium. Okay, so if I have 3.59 moles of NH3, and again we're talking at STP, we're going to be at STP unless I tell you otherwise. So moles of NH3, and has what volume? Well, I'm already in moles, so if I want to go into volume, I just put liters of NH3 right here. One mole is how many liters? Oh, there's only one step? There's only one step, so this should be easier and you should breathe a little sigh of relief 80.4 liters of NH3 because it's short and heavy. 5.90 E23 atoms of calcium is how many moles? 5.90 E23 atoms of calcium times dividing bar atoms of calcium I know I'm going to go into moles now calcium is an atom right? Yeah it is, it's just one type of element and that means going to 6.02 E23. Now this is one where if you don't use E, you'll get it wrong. Okay? If you, and I'm just telling you, so do this, E23 divided by 6.02 E23. And I'll tell you what, here's kind of a little challenge thing. Um, 98 is in the answer somewhere or another. It'll be like 980. But you've got to figure out where that power thing is. And it's going to be moles. And some of you will get positive E values, and that would be bad. So we will talk about that in class with me tricking you. So review. Always go through moles, always go through moles, always go through moles. One is the number that goes with moles. Use the E button on your calculator. And, oh, extra credit, um, 10 points in homework. Make a mole with a bad pun. Sew it and stuff it and have some pride. If it's garbage, you get no puntos. So get them. Here's one website that has them, but if you just Google mole pattern, and make it. You really have to make it. It's a little stuffed animal. And that's it. So I will say, toodles.